Kimberly from Huglongar Digital Designs and I thought today that we would play with some of the motif fills. I'm not sure if you've played with those yet, but it really does add a little extra pizzazz to designs. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up and grab a shape from our shapes library. And um, I'm not sure when you're hearing this, but it's January of 2022. And so Valentine's Day is coming. So let's grab a heart. And maybe I want to have a little um, pretty satin line around that heart. Let's do that. Let's make it a two. Let's make that a little less wide. And let's change that color to a pretty Valentine's color. How about a deep orchard? That's pretty. Nice deep pink. And now let's say that inside of here, we wanted to have a motif fill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on in the properties field, I'm going to click on my satin border heart and I'm going to do command C, command V. Now if you're working with a PC, it's going to be control C, control V. <clears throat> Same only a little different. And now you can see here that I have two satin border hearts. On the first heart, I'm going to choose that and highlight it and then I'm going to go up to the top here and almost to the very end of the stitches is something called motif fill. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to fill that with whatever design I had previously uh, used. And that design is squared number three and it's down here. But let's get rid of that and pretend we hadn't chose anything. So you'll basically just have lines in here. And the lines are going to show, uh, you're going to see how far apart they are. And now you can change that and make them further apart or closer together, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. You can also click on this little button here, which is the curved button, and you can give it some curve. We're going to unclick that and keep it straight. Over here, you'll see the motif button. And if you click on the plus, you're going to see a lot of motifs in here that come with the program. You also, and we'll have to discuss that another time as this is a little more advanced, are able to create your own motifs. But let's go down here and find something that might be kind of cute for Valentine's Day. Um, let's see. We see all our motifs here. Let's see. Do, 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 do. I think we'll just choose, for time's sake, this one here. If we click our OK button, you can see it's filled it in. And it is kind of dense but it's actually pretty cute. It's sticking out right here, so we'll need to adjust this a little bit in order to make it not stick out of the corner. And that's just a part of the um, characteristic of that particular shape is why it does that. So you may need to do a little adjusting, no big deal. And that is how you do a motif fill. It's simple, it's fun, it just adds a little design and a little flair to what you're doing. And I hope that gives you some ideas for creativity. Thanks for watching today.